There really isn't a family lineage of artists or creatives, which might be surprising. But what my mom did while we were growing up is that she gave me complete freedom to creatively express myself. And in my eyes, that's as good as having an artist as an influence. By definition, I consider myself a multimedia creative. I think what I'm really passionate about is telling stories and telling stories of black, indigenous, and people of color. Those are the people who inspire me to do work every day. For me, home is Los Angeles, California. When I think of home, I think of legacy, the people, places in which they occupy, the land in which they occupy. It's something that I always carry with me. I feel like growing up here, I didn't really recognize the beauty of what it is. It actually has this really unique pastel palette that I think other cities don't really have. Los Angeles has become the backdrop of so much of my photography, a character in my art. I feel like every book that you open, every project that you work on, every time you pick up the camera, I mean, you're learning something new. Being a multimedia creative, digital elements and platforms are absolutely essential to the artistic process. I use Premiere every day. I use Photoshop every other day. I mean, I use Adobe Creative Cloud religiously. There is a renaissance going on amongst black art, amongst black music, black photography. It's amazing that we've been able to contribute as much as we have to society. And I couldn't be more prouder to be a black person.